All right, so I'm working on the blue line flag today. Um, I've got most of it done. I just painted my stars on the Union right here. Uh, I've got a few touch-ups to do on that. Uh, I kind of went by a tip that uh, Matt over at 731 Woodworks does as far as holding your stencil down and then using a spray can and spraying over each star. That's pretty much what I did there. And because of the way the stencil works, you end up with a little bit of overspray on your stars. And it's all right, just like Matt says, just go back with a paintbrush, real fine little detail brush, and touch up those corners. But what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put glue on all my pieces. And I'm gonna go ahead and clamp all that down, and let it dry. I'll flip it over tomorrow and I'll put some little strips across the back to hold everything in. I'll put one on the edge. I'll put one here in the middle to help hold the union on. And another one on the far end to help hold the union on as well and the rest of it together. And that'll allow, also allow you to be able to put your uh, picture hangers, however you're gonna use, if it's gonna be a sawtooth, if it's gonna be a single teardrop type that swivels you know, up and down. You can pretty much hang it however you want at that point. You just gotta figure out, you know, kind of what works best for you. For me, if it's a picture, kind of like uh, the one back there on the wall, yeah, right there. It's got my Mystic Valley on it, a mountain I wood burned it uh, about four or five months ago just so I'd have something hanging in, in the shop or, well, the garage shop. Um, so anyway, I did that, but yeah. So now it's just gonna be a matter of laying some glue down and once you get your glue down, it's just, a, you don't want to go real thick because you really don't want a lot of squeeze out where you've painted. So you're not wanting a lot of squeeze out on that, so you're going to go thin. Just a real quick thin line. Like that right there. And I like to use tight bond too, you know. It's whatever you want to use, really. It doesn't matter. It's, it's whatever your preference is in glue. Myself, I like the type on. I like how well it, it goes on. It holds well. Usually within an hour or so. Uh, or less, really. You can work with something. I like to let it go at least an hour. But anyway, that's what we're working on today at Mystic Valley. Uh, I'll show you another picture of it when it's more, when it's closer to being completed. I'll show you another picture of it or I'll do another video. But I just wanted y'all to see what I was working on today. Uh, I've got back over here on my table, which you can't see it, but right here under this paper, I've got the seat for the hall tree is sitting there. Uh, it's stained with a dark walnut. I'm going to finish it off with probably two coats of polycrylic, water-based polyurethane. I'm going to lay that on top of it. You can see the base seat right back over here. Uh, hopefully this week, I'm going out of town for the weekend. I'm going up to Philly. So if there's any woodworkers in Philly on, this, on IG, hope, you know, holler at me. I'll be up there all day Friday, all day Saturday, and I'm shooting back home Sunday. So it's a quick nine-hour trip for us here. Uh, from Tennessee to Philly. We're going to go up there and hang out with some friends. But anyway, give me a shout out if you're a Philly woodworker. Uh, I'd love to get to meet you. And uh, anyway, here at Mystic Valley, we're going to finish working on the on the union of the flag. And we're going to go ahead and get this thing glued up, get this blue line done. Y'all have a great day, and I will see you next time.